Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Man, I tell you what, I can't wait for this cook. Uh, I'm roasting a whole chicken in the Emerald 360. Guys, I picked up about a about a four pound chicken that from Porter Road, and I'm sure it's gonna be delicious, but about everything I get from there is delicious. So, guys, let me show you what I'm doing here. Hey right, guys, I broke out my roasting pan for this one. This, I bought this just for uh, the Emerald 360, it fits perfect in there, and it's, I can get whole chickens and stuff like this in there, and it was, does a great job. I'll put a link to this pan down below in the video description. Hey guys, we're not gonna get too crazy here. I'll come over, turn this thing over, the breast down. I just got some olive oil, I'm just gonna brush on this. Just kinda, that'll help the skin set, and it'll help with our seasoning I'm getting ready to put on here. Don't need a whole lot. Keeping this cooked very, very simple. I'm gonna come in here with this uh, next level chicken I just got recently from my buddy for Christmas. It's from uh, uh, the Flavor Brigade. Cannot wait to try this. We're just gonna season this whole bird up. Flip her over and repeat the process. And come in with some more seasoning. Hit this up. You can get a little bit inside there. Okay hey guys, for some added flavor, I've got this, got one of these little packets of the poultry blend. Uh, I believe it's rosemary, sage, and thyme. And we're just gonna shove this on up in the bird here. Get some added flavor. And I bought a very small white onion that I've kind of quartered. And I'm just gonna shove some of them onions right up on in here. Get some love up on it. That might be all we can do, maybe one more. That bird's getting plump all of a sudden. Okay, if there's one thing I hate doing is trusting a chicken. One, I'm not very good at it. So I just get by with what I got. Then I discovered this, guys. This is the Turbo Trusser. This one's made for chicken. They make a larger one for turkey. I have them both for obvious reasons. And we're gonna trust this chicken with this guy. I don't know if you've ever seen one. I got a link below in the description Show you where you can get one of these of your own. You got the chicken or the turkey, either one. And go in like that. Check this out, guys. We'll come in here with our legs. In there like that. Hold that. Hold that. We'll come in here and hook. Can I do it back here? I think I better hook into the wing itself. I've never done this on the chicken. I've only done it on turkey. Put the leg in there. Hold it in place. Maybe. Get in there. This is an awful small chicken. I'm gonna poke that in there like that. Actually, I'm just gonna hook this behind the behind the wing. See how it draws it up nice. I'm gonna touch up this with some seasoning and get our get the Emerald 360 fired up. All right, guys. I hope you can see this. I got this preset uh, in the roast setting, 350 degrees. I'm kind of guessing at some of this. And I anticipate this to take about an hour and a half, but I want to check this at the 45 minute mark. So guys, here we go. Let's get her set. Let's get her going. Guess we have hit the preheat. That just does fit in there. Check back in about 45 minutes. 
All right, guys, 45 minutes is up. I don't believe we're done. I do want to come in here and just check a few temps to see where we're at. We'll come in right into the breast, stay off the bone. You know, we're up over 109. Come in here into the leg and thigh a little bit. 127, 126. Going for 165 in the breast, 175 in the thigh. I'm gonna come back in here for another 30 minutes. And just because I can, I don't know that it matters. I'm gonna turn this 180 degrees just for some even temperatures if it matters. Go back in here, close her up. Turn our time down to 30 minutes and see where we're at. Okay guys, we got a little bit of an emergency update. I've never done this cook before and <clears throat> I had this roasting pan on this bottom rack on a slow cooking rack trying to roast and it was getting a little too hot on the other side. So I've come in here and made some adjustments, put this chicken on uh, a crisper rack. This is interesting. So I'm gonna try this and keep an eye on it to see what happens. All right guys, we're checking in on the phone. This is the part where I try to save this cook because it's going south real quick. Hey guys, if you can see inside there, I've got that chicken set up way too high now with this new setup. Again, it's the first time I'm ever doing this cook. So here's my plan. I've set up another crisper tray. I'm gonna transfer that chicken out. This is a small little rack. I've lined it with foil, catch any juices, and I'm gonna put this chicken right here on this rack and we're gonna finish this bird, I hope. All right guys, plan C. This is gonna happen one way or the other. It's gonna happen. All right, guys, I think we might finally be there. Let me check these temps. Definitely, yes, finally. This has been a learning experience, guys. Definitely done in the thighs. All right, guys, let me get this pulled. We'll let it rest, and we'll get her cut up. Well, that was one crazy cook, but it is a pretty bird. Give you a full look at that. I took the turbo trusser off. Look at that, guys. Let's see if we can cut into this and pray to God I have not dried this out too much. <laughs> see if I can't pull. See how well that, that leg pulls right off. Very tender. And let's see if we can get this breast off of here. Put it on that bone. It is definitely still hot for sure. Just want to come in here and just cut off a little bit here, get a taste for you. Then mom and I is gonna eat. This cook went way longer. Had some issues, but it's proof that we show you even the bad stuff too. You know, there is some juices in there. That is very tasty, guys. Let's get a taste of that. All right, guys, I was originally going to do a rotisserie on this chicken, but I realized pretty quick that this bird was a little too big. So I tried something I've never done, doing the roasting pan. Had to make a few adjustments, because honestly, I was getting too done on the bottom and the breast was not getting done. So I was too low to the lower plate. So I made some adjustments. We'll come around, we finally got her done. There's some juices left in here, guys. Get a taste. I want to get some of that skin too. It's not as moist as I want, but it's fairly moist. The flavor of that seasoning. What was that? What was that called? Next level chicken uh, from Flavor Brigade. Good stuff, guys. I really enjoy that. Guys, thank you so much. This is one of those videos where I bring in 
We had challenges, but we come through, we got it done, and we're gonna have a good dinner. It's a late dinner for me and mama, but we're gonna have a good dinner. So guys, thank you so much as always. <clears throat> Please like our video if you like what you've seen uh, or subscribe to us if you haven't already and hit that bell notification to let you know every time I post a new video. Guys, thank you so much and we'll see you on the next video. God bless you. Bye-bye.